So several days ago, we talked about how Microsoft had announced the Xbox Game Pass, which is a subscription service sort of like Netflix for games. Gains you access to over 100 games you can download and play for $10 a month, and it includes Xbox 360 as well as newer Xbox One games. Now Sony is striking back because, as we all know, competition is good for everyone, especially you. Sony has just announced that PlayStation Now, which is Sony's subscription streaming service, is going to start carrying PS4 games. Currently, there's close to 500 games in their cloud service, but so far they've all been last-gen games, but that is now changing. Sony says they're going to start testing this in a few weeks with beta testers with the newer PS4 games and that PS4 games will be included in the current subscription models, which I take to mean that prices aren't going to go up simply because they're adding in these newer games. PlayStation Now is available on PS4 and Windows PC. Sony even makes the point of stating that you'll be able to start a PS4 game on your console, pick up where you left off on a Windows PC thanks to cloud saves. That's one of the features they're advertising whenever they made this announcement. Which, let's be honest, this is probably going to cause some major butt hurt to the most extreme tweens fighting the console wars because a common war cry is that if a game is available on the PC, then of course there's no longer any reason whatsoever to own that particular console, even though the game may not be available on other consoles, and even though many of the people bitching and whining don't even own a PC in the first place, much less a gaming rig. The fact is, this takes nothing away from you to let other people play good games, period. You can still enjoy your console and the games that are on it. And this really shouldn't be surprising for anybody who's been following this channel for a while. I put the two together back in August of last year, told you that PS4 games were going to be coming to PC eventually, and here we are. There are still some differences between the Xbox One Game Pass and PlayStation Now. For instance, you can download games on Xbox, so you're not dealing with latency. Even though that I found really the latency on PlayStation Now whenever I tried it out with the trial, it, it really wasn't that bad, but it probably depends also on your connection. Uh, plus, the Xbox Game Pass lets you uh, buy a game that you enjoy for a deep discount where you can't do that with PlayStation Now. But with PS4 games being added to the library, it certainly stacks up a lot better than it did last week, and it's a smart move for Sony. No word yet on the games that are going to be coming, but they are coming, and they're also coming to PC. Stay tuned to videogamesandnews.com for the latest gaming news. Looking forward to the damage control down below in the comment section. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Are you listening? Damn.